Today, we're gonna do seven things you don't know about the Ibanez RG7 string. Now, the reason I'm doing it this way is because I could do one on the Universe and I could do one on the seven string, but they're kind of one and the same guitar. So we're gonna mix the two for this particular video because I thought it'd be more interesting that way. Let's check it out. The Ibanez 7-string is the very first mass-produced solid-body 7-string guitar. The story goes something like this. Somebody at Ibanez went up to Steve Vai and said, Hey, you ever played an 8-string acoustic guitar? Steve Vai, being into numerology, was like, Eh, 7's a better number. You know, I've seen 7-string jazz guitars. Let's do a 7-string solid-body guitar. And there it goes. Now, there was rumors about how Steve Vai came with the idea to do the low string first, but there's also rumors that they tried the high string, an A, and it kept snapping, so they went with the low string. Number dos. Even though Ibanez was the first to mass produce the solid body seven string guitar, they weren't the first with the idea. See, Fender and an artist named Maestro came with the idea a couple years prior, but when they released it at the NAMM show, it didn't do so hot and it never went into production. Number three, the Ibanez RG7620 was the first production seven string after the universe. It was made to be an affordable version since the popular universe had grown. They later made the Ibanez RG7420, the same guitar again, just with the less expensive bridge and pickups. Number four, the Ibanez seven string guitar adds a low B string, which gives us five lower notes. It also allows us to change the way we play maybe power chords. Check out this example. Fun fact, the original universe used on the Passion of Warfare cover has a handle, a monkey grip, and they actually airbrush it out. That's right, kids. See, before Photoshop, they actually had to take a Pache airbrush and actually airbrush it. Number five, we all know corn changed the seven string forever. But what you don't know is they changed the seven string forever. Let me give you an example. So when corn started out, they were using the Ibanez Universe because that was the model available. Now they did mess with other RG7620s, but they kept sticking with the Universe. When Ibanez finally came to them about doing their own artist guitar, they complained. First off, the two holes that were drilled in the back for the screws to go to the nut caused cracking. And because of the way this joint was connected right here, which is a scarf joint, you see it here? They basically were breaking the headstocks off. They were able to change the guitar. What they did is they got Ibanez to create a new neck. This neck was multi-laminate. It was maple, winch, maple, winch, maple. And it added this volute, this thicker piece here. These two combinations, the multi-laminate and the thicker piece, made the neck much stronger. Number seven. Although the Ibanez Universe is still in production today, making it the longest production seven string guitar, it has changed. And so is the RG7 420 and the new Prestige models. The necks are wider. Number seven, there's actually seven string guitar chord books and scale books now. So you can take this instrument to the next level. I suggest you check them out. Well, that was fun. I understand now that the seven string is kind of passe. There's eight strings and nine strings, but you have to understand this, when this came out, it was a revolutionary instrument. A whole generation of artists seen it and never seen anything like it. And that's impressive because we had seen 34 fret guitars, double neck guitars, we'd seen a lot. So when the seven string came out, it was definitely different. 
we have seen a whole generation of artists use it from the first time I saw somebody pass, you know, besides Steve I, was Morbid Angel, then Korn, then Deftones, then Limp Bizkit, and just went on and on and on. And it gave us a whole new genre of music and new styles to play upon. You see bands like Dream Theater use it. I mean, it's just a really interesting instrument, to say the least. So thank you for taking time and checking it out with me today. If you like this video, please hit like and share it. It's a great way to support the channel. We also sell t-shirts, so check out the link for the t-shirts. Again, another great way to support the channel and have a cool t-shirt. As always, thank you for your time and know your gear.